Hello everyone, I'm Patrick, welcome to Freename and today I'm gonna show you how to use Web3 emails with uh, Freename and MailChain. So let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my username right here, go to my portfolio. I click on domains so I can navigate on my domain. And for today, um, we're gonna use this domain here, patpat.hodl. Uh, that's gonna be our um, reference uh, domain name. So I'm just gonna go ahead, go ahead and manage it. Be aware that it has to be minted in order to do this. So the first thing I have to do is to connect it and to assign it to my wallet. So I go ahead and go to reverse resolution. Um, as you can see, reverse resolution will um, use patpat.hodl as my wallet address for Web3 applications. We need to do this in order to use MailChain, so make sure you do this passage before you do anything else. So um, here I can see that my connected wallet is right here, and I just go ahead and sign a transaction with MetaMask. I'm just gonna confirm it. There we go, our domain is now uh, set as the reverse resolution for my wallet. So this is step one. Let's go for step two. As you can see uh, in the same tab we have, let me move it a bit here. As you can see, we have you as, a, as Web3 email. This is the next step we have to take. So as you can see, we have our domain here. Uh, this only works with one domain, the one that you set as your, as your reverse resolution. So I can find my patpat.holder right here. And right now, I'm just gonna click on try it now. Be aware that you can both um, use this method or if you have our um, browser extension, which you should, you can just click on it and click on Web3 email. And this is gonna bring you directly to your inbox. But let's go back for now. Here we are on MailChain. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to inbox, settings right here. I'm just gonna go to account. I have my Web3 account right here. I can add an account from MetaMask. Connect my MetaMask. There we go. There we go. We have the signature request right here. And as you can see, it can find every um, Web3 domain that has been associated with my um, wallet. So here I have patpat.holo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and label it. Set it as pat, pat dot hodl. There we go, I'm gonna apply it. And I'm gonna synchronize. Now that our um, domain has been set, I can go ahead and try it out. So I'm just gonna real fast compose an email. Um, we're gonna bother our uh, COO today, Mattia. So first thing first, I'm gonna go ahead and select my patpat.hold domain right here, and I'm gonna text to mattiafreename.hold. I'm just gonna say hi. This is a Web3 email. And I'm gonna say, hi Mattia, how are you? Say hi. And there we go. That was fast. Mattiafreename.hold just responded. Here we go. Oh yeah, Web3 is awesome. See you for the next one, guys.